Let's hope this will finally get us out of this junkyard. And bam! Come on. There's nothing to turn around. What the? Okay, Sleeping Beauty. You wanna dance? Let's dance. Fried to a crisp by this gigantic and stupid overwatcher, overseer, and you show up all cloaky dokey with this way too relaxed attitude. So, no, mister, I will not keep it cool. All right, I get it. I'm sorry. So, you're not with them? Them? Dude, I don't even know where I am or. Who I am. Wait, you... You came down with that ship, right? More like I came crashing down in it, yeah. Are you, Xel? Follow me. <sighs> hey, wait up! We should leave this place. It's not safe. Thanks for making that clear. I thought the killer robots were kind of a dead giveaway. They are not our biggest problem. Cool. Can't wait to see what's going to try to kill me next. <laughs> Thanks for the help, by the way. Back there with that overseer? I didn't do anything. Exactly. Hey. You seem to be able to handle yourself just fine. Yeah, because I have to. someone I knew who was very much like you. How about Reed? Sure. Whatever, mister. Yes, yes. Hey, I wanted to choose your name as well. All right. Go ahead. Now my head is already filled with your actual name. At least something's in there now.
my home. Need a lot. I don't usually go home with someone on the first date. Uh, this? I, I wasn't. I mean, I wouldn't. Got. Um. Yeah. Relax. For need a I was just trying to lighten the mood between all this fighting robots business. This, this is Needle Eye, home of the survivors. It's, wow. Wait till you see it from the inside. So there are more humans after all. I'm sorry if they seem unwelcoming. We don't have the best experiences dealing with outsiders. Outsiders? So that's what you meant when you asked me if I'm with them. like more proof or something to show that I'm not with those outsiders you're good how can you be so sure if you ever meet them you'll know why here we are this elevator takes us right into the heart of needle eye Okay, I played your game long enough. What is happening here? And who is Xel? You're looking at it. Wait, you are Xel? No, all of this is Xel. Please, don't go full meta on me. I might not be able to remember a lot from my life, but I have a feeling that I am not a particularly spiritual person. No, I mean, look out of the window. Xel is not a person. It's a space arc. What? Almost 100 years ago, our people had to leave their home planet. Our planet became uninhabitable, and a small amount of the population was sent out to look for a new home. So we are traveling through space right now? Actually, we're not. The arc stopped functioning properly decades ago, before I was even born. Wait, so you and your people are living on a stranded spaceship that is floating in space right now? You could say so. Yes, this might be the reason why you crashed into the Ark. Although, I never heard the Elder mentioning anything about space colonies that far out. Do you remember what your home looked like? No, and I don't know if it's the crash or if this piece of rock stuck in my forehead is messing with my brain. I'm sure the Elder knows a way to help you out. This Elder dude sure sounds like the big cheese of this place. Yeah, he's actually the last person alive to witness the launch of the Ark. Is that guy a blood-sucking undead, or are you keeping him in a jar? How is he still alive? No, none of that creepy stuff. Time works differently here, and maybe he just has some good genes. You have good genes, that's for sure. I'm sorry, what was that? Nothing. Here we are. Eli, the safe haven of Xel. This place looks really lovely. I like the handcrafted style. 
This used to be the amusement district for the worker class on the Xel. Workers? So there was a hierarchy on this arc. Yeah, the Elder can tell you more about this. When I was born, there were only us survivors here in Needle Eye. And the others out there. Well, every answer you give just raises more questions. How original. Yeah, I'm really sorry. This must be so much to take in. Let's head to the Elder right away to clear things up. Why don't you go ahead and I'll just check this place out on my own? On my own with my buddy chap here. Are you sure? This place is pretty big. Just tell me where we should meet. The Elder's Hut is at the top of the city. You can't miss it. If you get lost, ask around. Just tell them you're with me. Got it. See you, Daz. Don't let me wait too long. If you're looking for Desmond, he's either exploring the Excel or at his dojo practicing and teaching. Always bring Shell the trash I find. And each time, she manages to create something magnificent out of it. <gasps> Your clothes look so gosh frigging cool. Aw, thanks. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then a dingbot punched me in the knee. Ha, <laughs> I got that reference. Those look so gosh frigging cool.
did they run off to this time? Huh? I'm hiding from my annoying little sisters. I eat all of their delicious fries and pizza. Hmm. <laughs> there she is. Welp, here I am. Uh, Desmond. <laughs> Couldn't stop talking about you. Welcome to Needle Eye, child. Um, hi, Mr. Elder... Sir? Oh, please. You can call me Eskari. Eskari. I don't want to come off like an ass, but this feels like a cult. Is this a cult? Uh, call it whatever you want. But you are welcome here. Uh, Desmond found you and your robotic friend in the abandoned district of the Garden, I heard. Chap found me in a crashed spaceship, but I don't know how I got there. She has no recollection of who she is, or even where she comes from, boss. Hey, this is kind of personal info, and you just spilled it all in front of your cult. I think it's important to share that piece of information. And this is not a cult. That's something someone in a cult would say. Ah, memory loss. Hmm. Might be a side effect of a hyperspace jump. You must have traveled quite the distance. As I said, I wouldn't know. But I have a question for you, old man. I'm eager to quench your thirst for knowledge. Right. So these crystal pillar thingies on your ship... that emit... chronal... Yes, that whole spiel. They give me major headaches. And I think they're connected to the stone stuck in my face. Hmm. What a curious person you are. Is it true that you defeated an overseer? I'm not one to brag, but yeah, I did. And I have the burns to prove it. We might actually be able to help you. And by helping you, you might help us in our direst hour. This sounds overly dramatic. I love it. I'm in. I told you, she's the person we needed. As you see, we were able to establish a society here that is self-sustainable and uses what the station has to offer. But the engine that keeps everything running is starting to overheat. This is causing harm to the very fragile artificial ecosystem that we need to survive. I don't know if I'm much of a fixer-upper, but I sure can whack things. Don't worry about the fixing part. Hmm? You will be responsible for the slice and dice part on this mission anyway. What is the mission, and who is that woman? I like her style. Call me Cheryl. I'm the fixer-upper of this place. Nice to meet you guys. You can call me... Reed, I suppose. And that's Chap. What Elder Ascari is trying to say is that this arc is about to heat up to a level where we either combust spontaneously or blow up. Both scenarios are suboptimal. We need to cool down the engine floor ASAP. When you're ready for quite the adventure, Meet me at my workshop. I'll head out to secure the area surrounding the wilds. Like you secured me back then with that overseer? H hey, come on. Uh, good luck, children. The fate of Cell lies on your shoulders. I see. No pressure. What are you doing there, buddy? I am taking care of the flowers here. Aw, that's pretty cute. What kind of flowers are you growing there? One that makes you grow stronger. That's ambitious. But not impossible. 
Vixel's artificial environment caused plenty of cool mutations on the plant life. Are you sure you're just a kid and not a really tiny scientist? I am not tiny. I'm actually quite big for my age. Sure. So what cool mutations are there? There are plants that will increase your stamina or even your health. Are you sure this isn't just some hallucinogenic side effect? There's only one way to find out. I need to eat it? You need to eat it. Great. Oh, where did they run off to this time? Huh? They run off to this time. Yes, yes, I know. I look pretty muscular. Something is definitely going on here. Reed, thanks for helping us out. You just landed here, and now you're all wrapped up in this mess. I feel kind of shitty about this. Please, don't. I'm not keen on getting blown up as well, and I have nothing else planned for the next few days anyway, as far as I can remember. So... I like your attitude. You fit right into our crowd. So, are you ready for the mission briefing? Give me the tea, girl. So, we have to cool down the engine floor. Therefore, we need to redirect the cooling system to it. Years ago, the cooling system was routed towards the science station. What for? Actually, no one knows. Even Elder Ascari is clueless for once. The last time we sent someone there to investigate, she never came back. Uh, let me guess. I should try my luck next. You will not go alone. Des is going as well, and you will be his backup. At least we won't die alone. That won't happen. I can assure you of that. How can you be so sure about this? Because the last expedition didn't have me to craft gear and gadgets. Fair enough. When are we heading to the science station? Not directly. The science station is not accessible due to the damage in the area leading up to it. That's why you'll need to visit the wilds first and get something from me. The wilds? Oh, that doesn't sound as inviting as the garden. It is indeed extremely dangerous and full of wild animals that will try to rip you to shreds. Okay. Cool. Before the incident, the place was a habitat for different species. They installed a robot there that took care of the flora and fauna. 
I need you to find that robot and get me its biosynth silk dispenser. Biosync silk pencil what? You will know what I mean once you see the robot. Once you bring me the dispenser, I'll be able to build you something super cool to traverse gaps and do other cool stunts as well. And save Xel and its people. Yeah, and that. You'll get to Desmond if you go through the gate near the elevator exit after leaving Needle Eye. Okay, give me a moment. Recap time. Go back to the garden and find Des behind the gate. Get into the deadly wilds. Find the robot there, get its dispenser thing, bring it back to you. I do some DIY magic. You get a thing that gives you access to other parts of the cell. I go into the science station, cool things down, save the day. Everyone lives! Happy people everywhere. We make out. Fireworks. Boom. Consider it done. And if you find some junk on your way, feel free to bring it to me, and I'll see if I can upgrade your gear. Gotcha. See ya. Come back in one piece. What have you got there? Don't forget to bring me your loot. Nice farm you got here, mate. Now that is such a weird thing to say to a stranger. Whoa, I was trying to be friendly since I am a stranger. What should I have complimented instead? Just say hello, my name is weird as looking girl from space or whatever. As much as I'm insulted, I really like your guts. <laughs> much better. It looks pretty when it's fixed. What does this pillar do exactly, chap? Chronal energy distributing it? What does this even mean?
wait! Why is it shooting at me? I don't care who it thinks I am.
What's that shiny thing up ahead? Let's check it out. <laughs> 